Good day and welcome to our show, where we shed light on parables, stories, people, saints from our holy tradition in order to learn how to live on earth as it is in heaven. Today I will tell you a true story from the book entitled Miracles and Revelations from the Orthodox Divine Liturgy. Unfortunately, many of us during this pandemic have started doubting the power of the Eucharist in healing us physically and spiritually. Today's story is about the miraculous cure of Princess Yusupova, which is really characteristic. This princess was an imperial Russian noblewoman famed for her beauty and the lavishness of her hospitality. The princess suffered from a blood infection after a premature delivery. Saint John of Kronstadt visited her one day as she herself narrated. He sat on her bed and told her, if you are going to live or not, it is a matter of God. Anyway, you should prepare for a new life by receiving the Holy Communion. The princess replied, Father, I have been preparing to receive the Holy Communion before Pascha. Although Pascha is near, he insisted, you should not postpone. I am ready to bring the Holy Gifts immediately. On his insistence, she accepted after she had received the Holy Communion with consciousness and joy, she slept for six hours. When she woke up, she was completely healthy. Professor Botkin, who attended her, seeing such a change, remained silent for a long time. Then suddenly, two tears ran down his face and he whispered thoughtfully, this cure is not a human achievement. In the Gospel of John, Jesus said, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. And over the years, the church has witnessed many miracles happening for people who truly believe in the power of the Eucharist. Saint John Chrysostom writes, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let your sacred body be unto me for eternal life and your precious blood for forgiveness of sins. Let this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health and gladness. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not unto judgment, nor unto condemnation by my partaking in thy holy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul and body. Amen. Dearly beloved, we deeply believe that the flesh and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ are indeed divine treasures given to us to heal our bodies and souls, to deliver us from our pains and sufferings to start living on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.